So today I'm going to be trying the spicy Korean burger from McDonald's and um, I'm just waiting for my order now. So I'm gonna take it home and we're gonna try it there. Hi everyone, welcome to my first mukbang. So today I've got a spicy Korean burger from McDonald's. It's the um, new, it's sort of their new um, limited edition set. And it comes with the crisp cut chips, which I've tried a few times. And um, honestly, I prefer like normal chips, but it's still pretty good. It's It tastes like crisps actually, but maybe because I was expecting like proper crisp cut fries when I had it at first. Uh, yeah, it's crunchy. And, um, it's not too bad at all. But honestly, I prefer um, normal fries. I mean, it's 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 good when it's fresh though, because like when I heard it the first time, it was a bit old, so it wasn't as good. But the one I have today, it's it's not bad at all. Um. For the spicy Korean burger, this is what it looks like. It even says meun in it. And it's a sarang he spicy. Fall in love with the spicy Korean burger. Hot, hot kimchi seasoned beef patty, spicy Korean sauce, mixed vegetables, grilled onions, and cheese between a warm charcoal bun. Um. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to be beef. I mean, obviously it can't be pork because uh, we can't have pork at McDonald's in this country. But um, I was hoping it would be chicken, like fried chicken, spicy fried chicken. But I guess that's kind of what a spicy chicken McDeluxe is. So I'm going to open up the burger now. It's, uh, well, I think maybe because like it's... <laughs> it looks a bit flat, it doesn't look that great. But as you can see, the bun is black as it's supposed to be. And um, the, <laughs> the cheese is kind of melted and stuff inside. Uh, honestly, it doesn't look that spicy, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's really good. I wasn't expecting that. Like, it actually is really spicy, but it's not like Korean spicy. And it doesn't taste anything like kimchi or gochujang. In fact, if you look at that patty, it's not red at all. I like the sauce, it's not red at all. So, yeah, but it's actually surprisingly really spicy Yeah. Hmm. Do you know what would be better at McDonald's if it was bulgogi instead of spicy burger, but I guess a bulgogi marinade might be a lot more expensive. Honestly, I don't think it tastes like I don't think it tastes like that much different to the um, prosperity burger with a black pepper sauce.
taste of charcoal burn on this one. It doesn't really taste like, you know, any, it doesn't taste that much different from a usual pate. It's a bit, it's not as sweet though, I guess, but it's still pretty good. It's really soft and um, warm, as they said, warm charcoal bun. Yeah, but um, yeah, it adds like a really interesting color to the, to the burger. Honestly, it's got a bit of a Thai spice to it, which is really weird, but yeah. This set comes with a frozen Fanta drink as well, but I gave it to my brother. Not much of a sweet, well I am a sweet drinks person, but not much of a artificially flavoured and coloured kind of person. Kinda yeah, looks a bit like the burger is moldy, but it's just a bun. The patty is quite juicy as well. Actually, it's quite. It's not dry or anything. And the beef is well done, but it's not like you know dry. It's standard like it's kind of like eating a Big Mac, but. Really spiky Big Mac. It's finished. Oh, you can take all of it. You know what? Take it all. Yeah. Oh. I guess for the burger, if I were to rate it, I'd give it maybe a 
six. In terms of presentation, well, when I got it, it wasn't. It was just it. It just was really flat, so it didn't look that great. Um, so in presentation wise, it wasn't. It was maybe like two. But I guess that's <laughs> that's one of those things where like, you know, you, it, what you see is not what you get from McDonald's. Um, I was really quite um impressed by the charcoal burger, sorry, the charcoal bun. Um, I mean that's not a new thing, but like. It's still quite interesting. I like how it gave the burger a bit of colour and a bit of an interesting twist, sort of Asian twist as well. Um, but yeah, in terms of the burger itself, it didn't taste very Korean y. Not what I was not what I was expecting anyway. But it was spicy. Um like proper Korean spicy. Well, proper Asian spicy maybe. But it was um yeah, it was um, it was really spicy, but it wasn't Korean spicy. It was just spicy, to the point where like it tasted a bit not Korean, a bit Thai actually. Um, yeah, it, there wasn't any kimchi, which they lied about, because of the box it says, hot kimchi seasoned beef patty. I didn't taste any kimchi at all. Might just be me, but I didn't taste I didn't taste any kimchi at all. And um whatever spicy Korean sauces. Yeah. Might have been nice with some sesame seeds. But who knows. The crisscross fries are not too bad, but like I said before, I much prefer like normal fries. They are like they're quite interesting in the sense that they are crunchy instead of like you know the usual crisscross fries. Which was what I was expecting when I had when I saw them at first, when I had them at first. But these are not bad as well. And got like a little bit more of the fries left. And I'm gonna finish it. So thanks for watching my first ever mukbang. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I just decided to try it as an alternative to writing. Because I much prefer just filming, sort of reviewing the food as I eat it. it so that I remember it better. Normally I write notes as I eat, so that which helps with my writing. But in terms of this, this um, sort of, you know, I'm presenting the experience as it is. And not doing it at some later date. So yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Might be the usual thing, but obviously I can't do it for every food review or whatever so yeah thank you again for watching see you again soon bye bye <laughs>